today we did our uh, monthly Wild Brooklyn Parrot Safari and uh, we had a pretty good turnout. I'd say we had about 20 uh, individuals come out, join the, uh, uh, join the safari, and we saw a pretty good collection of wild parrots today. I'm very pleased. The, the, the parrots started showing up in Brooklyn in the early 1970s. Uh, there's a certain amount of mystery associated with how exactly they got here, but it seems there was some kind of an accident at Kennedy Airport, and uh, the parrots uh, were released from Kennedy from perhaps a quarantine station and they flew some flew east some flew west some went to Long Island some came to Brooklyn uh, but now uh, almost 40 years later we have uh, quite a few hundred of them living in, in Brooklyn and other parts of New York City I really admire these little parrots I, I think that they, they sort of are a metaphor for the American experience I mean they came here not willingly no one expected them to survive uh, they have certain powerful forces who don't want them here, and yet they've been able to uh, survive and thrive and build a life for themselves in, in the USA. Uh, so uh, it's a hobby. Uh, I uh, uh, like to come out here and see them on my own, but I, but I like it even more when I can bring folks out here to see them with me because it's, it's always wonderful to sort of re-experience the wonder at seeing them for the first time that I experienced about three and a half years ago. Well, these parrots really shouldn't be here, but they are here. And uh, th th there's something just magical about that story. I, I also uh, think that uh, it's, it's sort of the story of America. I mean, so many of our ancestors, so many of us, we didn't come to America because we really wanted to, but we came here because our ancestors, ancestors were being thrown out of their native countries. This is the same thing with the parrots. The parrots were really being removed the people in, in uh, Argentina didn't want them so they were sending them north so I think that sort of resonates in, in a particularly American way uh, uh, they sort of in their own odd way they embody the immigrant experience and again they've been living out here for 40 years they get along with all the other birds that live out here in Brooklyn uh, they haven't caused any environmental damage they're just living their own lives they're doing their own thing and 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 I, and I would hope that that that, that all of us in America are able to live our own lives, do our own thing, and sort of be left alone. I think that's what most Americans want, and I think that's what these parrots have got. The parrots do pretty well here uh, because they're very bright, they're very, they're very vigilant, and uh, they don't, uh, they're very, very cautious creatures. But they do have enemies. They have some natural enemies. They have hawks. There are a lot of hawks in New York City now, a lot of falcons. Uh, kestrels, uh, they have some uh, pre predators, dogs and cats will sometimes try to go after them, they usually don't get them, uh, but also people. Um, there have been incidents where people in Brooklyn have uh, gone up and, and tried to steal the parrots, rob them from their nests to sell them into the pet trade. So, you know, I think their existence is, is pretty well assured here. Uh, I should add also that the utility company Edison doesn't really appreciate the fact that the parrots like to build in their electrical infrastructure because it can cause problems. It can cause transformers to overheat. Sometimes uh, the equipment will explode. Uh, they'll they'll have blackouts and so forth. So it's probably not a good thing that the parrots like to live in the electrical infrastructure. Um, so, but otherwise, even though there are there are um, they have predators and they have forces arrayed against them. Uh, they've done very well here, and I think that there's a good future for them uh, in, in Brooklyn. I, I hope they're here in Brooklyn for as long as there are people here in Brooklyn.